The moon lit up the night sky, then went dark. There was an eerie reddish glow as it passed through the Earth's shadow. The whole eclipse just ended in the past 15 minutes. KPIX 5's Emily Turner is at Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland with an exclusive behind the scenes look. Pretty cool assignment there, Emily. I mean, I'm not complaining this morning. It's been pretty fantastic. And for those of you that missed it, I'm sorry, but don't worry. We have you covered. In the meantime, I'll show you what's left of it as the moon is setting this morning and the sun is coming up. You can just barely see the tip of it. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the video from earlier this morning. It's pretty amazing. The full show started just before 2 o'clock this morning, and the total eclipse happened at 4.11. The whole thing only lasted about 15 minutes of that full eclipse. It was brief but spectacular. The moon dimmed and turned to an orange red color very deep and beautiful the color change though is caused by the earth's atmosphere which filters sunlight sneaking around the edges of the planet so basically what you're seeing and this is i think really cool you're seeing the color of all of the sunrises and all of the sunsets taking place on the earth shining right onto the moon's surface the whole show finished up about 5:52, and then of course the moon setting right now it's always special to see an event like this. Uh, you know, this is something that happens out in space. And most of the time we kind of are all focused on what's going on in our immediate surroundings, most of which we can control. But out in space, things happen without human control. So this is a chance to kind of sit back and let Mother Nature be in charge for a little while. And again, so amazing, so beautiful. You can find all of the video that we'll post also on our website a little bit later this morning. But the other thing that made this really cool is that not only was this a full eclipse, it was also a super moon, meaning that the moon was slightly closer to the Earth, so it looked even bigger. If you really want to be creepy about it, you can call it a super blood moon. But I think we can just call it a full lunar eclipse. For now, we're live at the Chabot Space and Science Center. Emily Turner, KPIX 5.